Good afternoon. My name is Alan Ko. Today's health talk is on hyperthyroidism and how energy medicine supports our body's metabolic processes to combat this medical condition. Hyperthyroidism is the medical term for an overactive glandular tissue in the thyroid, which is near around the voice box, around the uh, upper part of the airways. And that will result in overproduction of these thyroxin hormones in the blood called T4 and T3. What are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism? It will be weight loss that's uh, often accompanied by an increased appetite, anxiety, intolerance to heat, always feeling very warm, too warm, hair loss, fatigue, muscle aches, weakness, hyperactivity, irritability, very easily irritated or angered, apathy, depression, and other symptoms are tremors, uh, sweating, fast heartbeat called tachycardia, palpitations, irregular heartbeats called arrhythmia, particularly the type of arrhythmia called atrial fibrillation, shortness of breath or dyspnea, loss of libido, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, osteoporosis, thirst, proptosis, bulging of the eyes, all these are signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism. Then what are the major causes of hyperthyroidism? One is the Graves disease, which is an autoimmune disease, and is the most common cause up to 70-80% of all um, hyperthyroidism is caused by Graves disease. Another one is called toxic thyroid adenoma, Adenoma means tumor of a gland, and this is the thyroid gland. You can see when cut into two, this is the first half, this is the second half of the same um, uh, sort of a, a tumor, benign tumor. Toxic multinodular goiter means the whole neck is enlarged because there's a lot of little nodules keep on enlarging, and therefore the neck also enlarged. This is the goiter type of uh, toxic multinodular hyperthyroidism. Another cause of hyperthyroidism is Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an inflammation. And as you can see, the last four letters of the medical condition, itis, means inflammation of the thyroid glandular cells. And this is also immune-mediated. So if our immune system is weak, we can succumb to such medical conditions. Of course, the sensible thing is to strengthen our immune system against immune-related diseases. Then another cause of hyperthyroidism is just taking excessive hypothyroidism medicine. And uh, it swings to the other end of the pendulum to make it more hyper instead of hypo in this case. Contaminated ground beef with thyroid tissue can bring about hyperthyroidism. Certain Western medications, the, the molecular structures are so similar to the um, thyroid sin, like some of these anti-arrhythmic medications uh, for, uh, or rather against irregular heartbeat, they can mimic the action of thyroid sin and cause those symptoms of tremor, or tremor rather, fast heartbeat, uh, intolerance to heat, etc. There's a less common hyperthyroidism, which is a temporary one called postpartum, that means after giving birth uh, for ladies their thyroid glandular cells become, um, become inflamed and produce m much more thyroxin hormone. How electric energy works against such conditions? As you remember, oxygen and nutrients will be more absorbed once we do electric energy treatment, usually within half an hour, or our 100 trillion cells in the human body will be fully charged. And once fully charged, more oxygen and nutrients will go into our glandular cells and more toxins cleared. This will improve the metabolic processes and balance the metabolic processes of our uh, thyroid gland cells to make sure if it's too much thyroxine coming out, there will be suppressor substances being secreted to suppress the overproduction. If it's too little, then there will be activating or stimulating substances that will come into play to create more production of thyroxine. So it's always going into balance when you strengthen back the thyroid glandular cells and even the brain cells that also got a stimulating effect. Again, more oxygen and nutrients go to the cells. Even immune cells will receive more oxygen and nutrients when you do electric energy, 
energy treatment. So there are two of the causes of hyperthyroidism. It was caused by immune system being um, not functioning the best. One is the Graves' disease, where 70 to 80 percent of all hyperthyroidism is caused by that, and the other one is the Hashimoto's, thyroiditis. Both are immune mediated, and so by strengthening the immune system with more oxygen and nutrients and less toxins by flushing them out, then these medical conditions or these medical causes of um, hyperthyroidism can be reduced. Magnetic treatment enhances blood flow to the um, thyroid area. Now remember, diseases are a function of our blood flow. Poor blood flow to a particular area, be assured that the area is weaker, more succumbing to diseases. But now you are improving blood flow using magnetic energy treatment, so the uh, medical condition of hyperthyroidism uh, should keep on improving. Cell repair, which are metabolic processes in the body, can take place with more oxygen and more nutrients. As more toxins are also drained away, once they've come out of the cells, this will prevent toxins from, re -enter from re entering the thyroid glandular cells, and uh, that would uh, increase the uh, thyroidism again. So it's good to drain them away and out of that area, out of the body, so no more re entries of toxins back into the thyroid glandular cells. Immune cells are also strengthened by the bio physical pathway of magnetic wavelengths going into the thyroid glandular cells, the immune cells, keep on vibrating the bar resonance, make them stronger, make them able to balance back the uh, medical condition. And that's what natural treatment is all about. Good natural treatments always go into a balance. Um, when, when it's too much coming out, then they make it more normal. When it's too little being produced, then they, they reactivate the uh, production line. So immune cells are strengthened by magnetic field treatment, therefore helping a couple of conditions like the grave disease and the Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Far infrared, on the other hand, is famous for its ability to reduce inflammations. Any part of the body that's swollen, painful, like the thyroid glandular cells, then you can count on far infrared to start draining away uh, the deep uh, blood secretion, the excess fluid there, and once the inflammation, the swelling reduces, then the pain will be eased off. So it reduces pain and swelling together where far and far is concerned. So th thyroiditis is an inflammation that could be reduced. And the other one is postpartum thyroiditis of women, where 7% of women who give birth tend to have this uh, abnormally inflamed thyroid glandular cells. And by virtue of the fact that far infrared can, in that area, um, remove more toxins, then the draining away of, of toxins will even be more synergistic uh, when done together with magnetic fields that uh, drain away toxins too. Thermosibation are two treatments in one. Thermos means the heat treatment. And uh, this treatment dilates blood vessels, cause a yet better blood flow to the area of the thyroid glandular cells. And the other one is the moxibustion, which is a stimulation of the meridian points there. And uh, that would ease any qi flow to that area. And if qi flow is already good, it will maintain very good qi flow, such that more energy can go to the glandular cells to perform the balancing acts of metabolism. Combining all the four treatments together would definitely uh, bring about much better synergy in the improvement process. So yes, please, if you can attempt to try some of these natural energy treatments out there in the marketplace, you should be benefiting tremendously. Thank you very much.